In this video, I want to share about a very simple uh, configuration where you can connect your uh, Spring Boot application to a Docker, uh, Postgres Docker. Um, and actually, this is something that you can also get by default if you use a Spring Boot application generator uh, because um, I can also show how it looks like so if we search for Spring Boot Starter or something like this. Yeah, so this initializer, uh, so this one will actually generate uh, for you, like configuration, and also if you get, add, for example, uh, Spring Boot, um, not Spring Boot, but Postgres. Um, so this will also include uh, Postgres configuration and dependencies, and also uh, if you include uh, a Docker Compose, you will also have Docker Compose. So basically, this is how I got the initial configuration. Uh, and I made some updates because, for example, uh, this file comes with. Um, let me let me zoom in presentation. Yeah. So if uh, this file comes with um, as a Docker compose uh, as a compose .yaml, so I changed this to Docker compose .yaml. Um, and in this file, this is like where I, I also have a configuration for uh, username, password. Uh, port on which uh, we need to expose a database connection. This is needed also if you want to connect your uh, database from your local machine. So you will need to expose this port. And then, so basically what we have uh, in this Docker Compose, uh, a Postgres um, uh, container, which is Postgres latest image, environment variables uh, to configure how we plan to connect, like for example, database name, a user uh, and then password and these settings are important because we will need to use the same settings in our application configuration which are if i go to resources application.yaml it can be also application.properties um, and what you have here uh, is source so we say it's a jdbc postgres um, post and port and database name this is where we put our user and password. So this is how we make sure that we have connection. Um, in another video, I can also explain how we can bootstrap, for example, a uh, database <clears throat> or uh, how we can have migrations. But let's first take a look. Um, so this is a Postman where I, let me first maybe show. So this application is running. Um, and let me just exit for now presentation mode. So this application is running here. Um, so I can also restart just to be sure since it's the latest version. Um, by the way, if you are using also IntelliJ or I think uh, Visual Studio Code, they all uh, have the same features. So you will get um, also the services tab where you can, I'm not sure if it's uh, on community, but also you can get it uh, uh, you can also use the same like Docker, Docker um, application for this. It's just convenient like if you have this in idea. And here you will see um, database uh, for us. It's a NES server Postgres. Uh, dashboard where you can see all the environment variables for this container and also exposed ports. It's, it makes it a bit easier to, um, to work. And now, since we are running the application, um, it's a postman. We can also use curl or any other tool to make a call or even a browser. And I have very basic uh, endpoint, which is ping pong endpoint. So if I run a query, so this is a request and response for this query. Um, and now we, we can take a look uh, to date actual database. And for, for this, I will go back to um, in IntelliJ. And uh, again, so you can use also any other uh, database management tool. I will use again uh, IntelliJ's uh, interface for this. So Postgres. Um, and here where I need this configuration um, to connect. So we know that it's a local host. We know port is uh, 5432. So username is uh, nest server. And secret is just secret, password is secret. And our database is at nest. So let's con test connection. It says it's successful. If I apply, uh, next step is to select 
um, actual database. So for us, it's a nest. And let's see if it's uh, by default here. So we have nest, um, but we don't see database, uh, actual like data objects. Let me see. Um, let me maybe now refresh. Yeah. So now we have all tables here, and this is our table where we see um, all these requests. And we can also trick a bit, uh, let's say, plus one, one, two, three. And we should see here plus one, one, two, two three, three. Um, this is like how you can connect. And another thing, like that, is if we go through the key components, key parts, one is you need to have Docker Compose file uh, to actually run the database locally. Another one is to have uh, a, like to have this configuration in, in your applications uh, setup. Uh, and then with Spring Boot, this is how you can do it. Actually, like only part you need is this part. Um, and yeah, and then when you start, um, like obviously you need to also have like code base to connect to database, uh, add entities, uh, fetch them, which I don't include in this video. Uh, because it's only about how you can make this connection with database. Um, 